Today's episode, or episode, yeah. So I'm basically recapping to last year from where I've blown up to where I am right now in my life, and I think it's pretty interesting. Let's just check it out. But before we go on, do subscribe and like and comment. Tell me what you want to see, tell me what you want to hear. I'm here for you, and you're here for me. So let's do what we gotta do and keep it moving. So, basically, the first video is um okay kaya's gonna put it on i'll put it on kaya's gonna do it a video of me dancing where i blew up and rich mahog literally was like yo this girl's a star so the story behind that is people were just like yo this girl's oh my girl's more hollered right it's like yo i want to book this girl and people would just answer me yeah, why would you want to book a girl that hypes stuff at parties you know and rich mahog was like there's more to actually there's actually more to this girl than what you guys actually think and you will remember these days so this video was trending not trending but i started getting followers you know people that actually really liked me and then i dropped the second video the second video i was actually dancing after the um, these people this video that i dropped i was actually dancing after the job at party as you guys will see that party was actually hella lit you guys some people know how i blew up some people don't know how i blew up so the first first video was i was talking about hiding and running in a car chilling with my friend sway in the morning and basically that video trended and we are here today so yeah i've been posting a whole lot of dance videos and as events have been going on and everything so i'm just gonna watch the videos and tell you how i felt at that moment because it it hasn't been a year but we are we are slow slow <laughs> we slowly getting there to the greatness part so this is the first video kaya will play it and this is the first video where i went viral so I was basically emceeing at another Jobe gig because Jobe had two parties. So it was the Jobe party and then it was the Jobe thank you party, you know. So this video, I was actually emceeing at the Jobe thank you party and I posted this video on Twitter because I was gaining, ga gaining traction, right? And people started following me. So that was my first video that actually trended. And then the second video that trended was the video where I was literally did proof dancing in front of a Audi. I don't know what Audi it was, but it was the one. Wearing a mini skirt, you know, baby. I thought it was a girl back then, but damn. <laughs> it was actually bad. <sighs> I actually didn't want to think about it, but I was in the mini skirt vibe, crop top vibe, you know, a black Air Force vibe. I was, I was doing it like, I was like, I didn't think it was the shit, but I was like, you know, we pushing, we striving, we're, focusing on the vision. Now when I look back, I'm like, oh shit, what was I thinking? But anyway, we move. So the video that started trending and started my career, basically like career was the sports scene video. So I had joined SME or oh, after the job at Thank You Party, I had a management that me and Kila Kao were working together and people have been asking did I date Kila? No, myself and Kila Kao have never dated No, I have never dated Jobe No, I have never dated any of them So, vocalistic, all of them I've never dated anybody that I have worked with or I am working with Huh, okay <laughs> Anyway, so that's the first Oh, I joined my previous management so it's a SME so it's a music academy entertainment they go by name of SME and I was working with Kilakao so what used to happen is me and Kilakao used to actually I used to actually jump onto Kilakao's performances to gain more traction and people used to see me as an artist you know because I just made the Jobby song it was a big hit so it was just like okay what else what more now do we do so okay me and Kayla started pushing together doing gigs with Kayla and everything I really enjoyed it the energy between myself and Kayla was really great you know because there's nobody who's ever done it like that you know 
Nobody who's ever done it like that, so it was myself. Sorry, I'm moving so much. Yeah. So <laughs> there's nobody who's ever done it like that, like myself and Killer, people going crazy and uh, I really realized that's when I started noticing that I have in I have actually grown to influence and become um what's this word become a what's this way you know when somebody like inspiration how can i forget inspiration i have grown to become an inspiration to younger girls you know girls that look up to me i see it through the dms i see it through the tags you know role model i'm a role model now mom i made it anyway yeah so i've grown to inspire young girls and boys you know and i really feel like it is what it is because it, it is what it should be just focus on your dreams and do what you gotta do i believe in you you should believe in yourself so me and kina were pushing this thing doing school tours doing everything and then it got to a point where i had to leave note by kaya bengu is the reason why I decided to join Major League because he convinced me. I don't know how he did that. He was just like, basically, no, you have to come, girl. You have to come. The Major League DJs had already put that offer on the table, but I was just a bit skeptical, you know, because I've never really dealt with anybody else outside the industry apart from SME, you know. And my SME manager back then used to handle everything for me, you know, everything, like literally everything from speaking to people that I'm going to collab with, everything, contact, my social media, he used to do it. So I was pretty scared of taking a big step and joining a people. <laughs> Ooh, English motherfucker. Uh, I was actually nervous taking a big step and joining people that I'd have to be hands on, you know. And it was a risk that I did take. I wasn't sure of, I won't lie. I was really nervous, like hectically nervous about taking like that step of being independent, independent woman, honey. That's me. Yeah, so I was really nervous, but I'm glad I took that leap. So basically, it was like, oh, that's me. I'm the girl. So basically, I have grown to be an to be an independent, or I am growing to stand on my own. If, although I'm 20, I'm just only 20, guys. Uh, I really feel like um, social media is giving us a big opportunity as young people to blow up, you know, and actually make something of ourselves and change your life and change your family's life, you know, because the only reason we actually hustle is to change our lives. So. Okay, that happened. I joined Major League and then I started recruiting dancers, you know, I started recruiting my dancers, I started recruiting my own team from driver to a DJ. It wasn't easy because you don't really trust people, you know, you need to find people that are willing to build with you in this media space. Trust me, baby. Everybody's trying to make money, but you need to find people that are willing to see you further like grow and help you grow people that are willing to be behind the scenes just to push you to be oh myself to be where i need to be because we all eating at the end of the day you know so it's really rare to find people in this day and age that are willing to push you 100 percent and that's what we've come down to but you just got to do it and hopefully god blesses you with people that are going to be for you what 100%. So I recruited my dancers, not recruited, but I used to dance with them in high school. Actually, these people are people that I've known for years. Chloe and Gabelo. You guys probably know them. Chloe M, I'll put her. Follow her. Gabelo Rio. Follow him. Guys, I love, love, love my two dancers. I actually don't take them as dancers. I love my two colleagues. Like, they literally, the best thing that has ever happened to me in this life you know there's such blessings and there's really nothing else i could have asked for than people that are willing to push me like 100 percent like god thank you anyway so as we're moving on so now i am fully an artist and a dancer it's not easy trust me it ain't easy because 
Kaya, it's not easy. But we have to strive. <laughs> we have to strive, you have to come alive, you have to come out of it. So, uh, yeah, the next episode is basically going to tell you guys about and show you how I feel about being at gigs, how it feels, what you have to deal with as an artist, as a performer, as an upcoming young female in the industry, what challenges I've faced personally going through developing myself as a full artist and developing a hard skin, thick skin. NP, if you do blow up, don't. Do not trust anybody. In the media space, nobody. Secondly, don't be friends. I don't do not meet somebody that you look up to because that's a, that's a fuckery. Your idol will actually not be the person that you think they are. That's what a lot of us have experienced in this game, and that's just the truth. I'm just giving you a heads up to people that actually do want to blow up. Your idol is not actually your idol. It's all a facade. And everything. I'm not saying people are not pushing, you know, people are pushing, people have to make a perception of themselves, but just to protect your energy, stay away from your idol. Because, damn, girl, you're gonna be disappointed as fuck. So, join me in the next episode or part two where I speak about my experiences and what I have to deal with on a daily or week, weekend basis, dealing from gig to gig, from promoter to promoter, dealing with people, dealing with my team, everybody being emotional. I'm gonna show you a couple of recaps you guys have seen on my socials, you know, of me going from province to province and everything. I just hope you guys enjoyed my story time as much as I have, although it was really short lived. I really talk a lot, so this probably this thing does it probably doesn't have direction, but I'm glad you guys stayed long to hear what I have to say as a 20 year old in this industry and a female, you know? Shout out to all my females, shout out to all the young girls. I believe in you. I hope you guys believe in yourselves. No by do not meet your idol. If I'm your idol, don't meet me, cause you probably will not be happy. That's just how it goes. But I love you so much, guys. Catch me part two, baby. It's a shout out.